Welcome back for this Decorate With Me and it's pretty much a day in the life with Chanel doing things around the house. Marketplace find. This off the marketplace and it's like a gold one. I know that's my feet. I had a piece of lint on my toe, excuse that. And it's like the gold one that I have already. And I'm going to give it a good spray paint and make it over. I know my hands are ashy. She washes them a lot. So we're going to get right into it. And I'm going to paint it a gold. Spray paint here. It's rust -Oleum on it. Part. There is no mirror in there anymore. Now we're just going to give it a good shaky shake. And go to paint. And again, as I said before, this is a Facebook Marketplace find, and it is a replica of the original one that I have shown before previously in several videos, and you'll see coming up in the next clip. And I'm going to replace all of the inners back in, and here is the two side by side. It is not the same exact color, and it's not the same exact mirror, but it looks pretty much the same it's a replica it is much lighter in weight this one was made out of foam but again it was a great find on the marketplace and here she will sit i really like it because the height of it is perfect for this space in my maker room and on friday if you come back we are going to do a full tour of the entire room all four walls <laughs> Next up, you will see a light fixture that I purchased from the Habitat Restore, and I am taking down the old fixture and replacing it with this one in a French country style. And yes, I did the light fixture. So here's the light fixture I'm about to put up by myself. Here's the ladder and taking that one down. Fixture and I had to call my brothers <laughs> while I was doing this. I've never done an actual ceiling light fixture all on my own, so they kind of helped me walk through it. I've done wall fixtures, like a fix to the bathroom, the actual wall. Ceiling one, it's pretty much the same. Ran into a little snag, and so I just wanted to have them on the phone to help walk me through it, and they did so. They also made sure that I had all of the correct and necessary tools for safety on board before I got started. The finished look and I'm so, so very grateful to my twin brothers. Well, they're twins. They're not, I'm not a twin, they're twins. <laughs> but I talked to both of them and again, they helped me to get the light fixture completely up and I am so very appreciative because I was ready for this change. The next thing I wanted to do was make a quick slip cover for this ottoman. You will start with a basic fabric and this is something that fabric that I use quite often which I use for my curtains, my drapery and I use this white and off white. It is a heavy duty cotton fabric so I use it for slip covers and things like that and the reason you would like a slip cover is because like with this ottoman here change up the look of your ottoman or your bench you know from time to time so this is the easiest way without covering the original fabric is to make a slip cover a very simple way just take your fabric whatever it is that you're going to use you're going to lay it across and you're going to cut it big enough that you have a little overflow of course but this is for easy quick slip cover that you could do and you could use just some straight pins and stitch witchery if you don't have a sewing machine your pins your straight pins of course i have some in pink <laughs> what you're going to do is just go around your ottoman and you're going to pin it now you don't have to do the edges but you do have to do your side so again you will cut along the side 
cut all of this excess off along the side to get it the length that you want all the way around. And the quickest way is to just take it and you see how this naturally forms a corner here? You're, that's what you are going to pin up. This makes it very easy to sew it. And this part you will have to sew because you're gonna have to do it by hand. You can use glue. Um, I normally don't use the glue unless it's something for upholstery. And then you'll just pin it from corner to corner. And when you take it apart and you finish each corner, that's what your corners will look like. And as you can see, it's just smooth all the way around, all the way around the top. Only place that I had to sew it was when I made the hem all the way around. And again, you can use stitch witchery for that. I just made a quick slip cover for it. And this, this is what your sides will look like your corners and this is what it looks like from the opposite side when you folded it before and you got that edge so let's look at it again on top of the actual ottoman here's the ottoman again and this is what it looks like once you put the whole piece on top and it just fits snug on there as you can see which is what it is pushing it around but that's it and it spits nice and snug and I will have to iron it again or let the wrinkles just fall out but this is what the edges look like the corners and that keeps it give it a little bit more of a tailored look all the way around the ottoman and this quick little gallery is just me pinning all the way around to make the hem to make it a little quicker when I sew it instead of me just folding as I sew. As you will see in the clip, I didn't do a double fold over to get that clean edge underneath it. Again, it's just a quick ottoman cover. No one's going to see, no one's going to know <laughs> except me. And it's something that I could just switch out easily from time to time if I want to see the blue and then if I want to see the cream. And then here's the finished look. Well, I suppose I have to make an exception here. You all will know. <laughs> Next, remember I told you I still had the projector up in the maker room. It was on the ceiling behind the light fixture. Pretty much you didn't see it unless you saw it in the reflection of the mirror that was there before, but I kept it pretty well hid, but I really got tired of looking at it. The room most likely won't be returning to a theater room. Up here on my ceiling but I've already taken the projector down and I have to get up here yeah I have popcorn ceilings and I'm going to take this part down so I got to use our wrenches and I think this one may be the one let's see here let's hope that this one actually fits and it does so I'm going to have to unscrew that, take it down, yep, it's getting loose. So I'm going to have to get on the other side and get that one. Here I am, and now I just have to pull the wires through and I'll be done. Let's see, she did it. This was a gift that I received from Martha from Divine Inspirations by Martha. Thank you so much for this beautiful candle snuffer as well as a beautiful card that I received from my YouTube sister Mimi as well. And I appreciate both of you so, so very much. Thank you. Thank you. This will conclude this decorate with me around the house, the day in the life with Chanel. <laughs> as interesting as it may be to me as always stay inspired motivated and moving creating something beautiful if not for yourself then for someone else see you in the next one